I'm really interested, you know, how does a boy become a man? So where, where to begin, really? So now I live in Peterhead now, but before I lived some born and bred 84 miles up the coast, just some nine miles from Lossiemouth, a small fishing village uh, in the north of Scotland. And uh, they are born into a Christian family and uh, a fishing family as well. And then once uh, education time was over, I chose a, a career in the Royal Navy. So joined the Royal Navy when I was 17, just young and fresh and done just under 12 years. But I, I, I enjoyed it. It was good. I was young, free, single at the time. So it was a, it was a great, great chance to get. And then um, once I met my wife now, things sort of changed towards the end of that 11 years. And then that's when I decided to, to leave. Did you decide to leave because you wanted to get married or you just wanted to leave anyway? Uh, I'll be honest, the, the, the Navy and I think the forces in general at that, at that time anyway, was really a single man's game. Okay. So my longest stint away was just over 10 months and three days away at sea. So it's a long time. Yeah. But to be in a, re a relationship with your wife or partner at the time, um, I think it's unfair, really. Mm -hmm. So I left once we once we knew we were going to be married. Mm -hmm. I left. Mm -hmm. um, I left the, the Royal Navy then. Was it a good decision? Um, the best decision. Uh, the best decision I ever made, really. It was it was good while it lasted, but it ran its course. And as I say, it was really. For me, it was like a single man's game. It was, it, mm -hmm. it, it would just would not have worked had I had been married with children and been away for that length of time.